Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review and today I got two really awesome auto load trailers guys these things come in so handy on the farm I'm telling you some people are dead set against this they'd rather load stuff onto the trailers themselves such as bales using a front loader or a wheel loader whatever you prefer but people that tend to get frustrated with that putting them on straight almost wanting to pull their hair out that people like me basically <laughs> this thing will come in so much more handy and i'm telling you this thing can pick up bales pallets of saplings grain you can use them as tippers so handy there's two different kinds here guys there's this tipper kind and then there's this uh basic wagon kind or trailer and this is capable of picking up more than just bales like i said it got a nice shine to it too and uh, yeah, that can pick up pallets as well and yeah, a bunch of other things. So what we're going to do, guys, is take a look at these. We're going to go over the shop and I'll show you the different prices, the different specs on these. Then I'm going to take them out and show you that they all work properly so you guys can download them without any worries. So let's come on down here for a landing and we'll start with this one. Now, there's three different variations of this one. I'll go over that in a minute. This is the Schmitz Cargo Bull version 1.000. There is three different versions of this. This is an 11 megabyte file and it's an $80 a day maintenance fee. I'll go over the prices in a second. It has a 32,000 liter capacity. Now the, the three different variations I want to show you and price. Here is the first variation. Now we'll take a look or better look at these in, in depth in a minute, but I just want to go over like the sides of this will open, allowing you to load on pallets and bales this trailer the second trailer has a reefer built onto it which I'm not really too sure what this is used for but in the picture on the download site he had large bags of seed on it and the only difference I can tell between this and just a regular tipper is that it has a reefer on it if you're not sure what a reefer is that's like a, an air conditioning unit for this it's like a refrigerated box so that is the second version is the SKO I do believe and then the last version is the SFS and this one opens from the very top and you use it as a regular tipper but it also has a piston in here which meaning uh, the back wall retracts and pushes everything out the back and then retracts back in so that's kind of cool you can notice there's a little loss uh, a little stair system on that there's the reefer on that one and this one doesn't have too much more hooked up to it but let's take a look at some of the animations here we'll start this guy up i seem to have lost my sound oh there we go okay so let's bring up my toolbox now we can unfold it now this got great animations too guys look at that mud flap look i i love detail like that like that thing moves with me the lights are all working perfectly. You press X, those back doors will open. There's a little uh, delay on that, but it works just fine, nonetheless. And check this out when you unfold this whole thing. Now, I want one. And check out this animation, guys. Look at that. Revealing. Both sides open, too. That is awesome. I love that. And see, even, oops, behind the sign, even these little tie-downs here, you'll see them buckle up and tie down. By the way, if you come out and walk around the back, you can put your, uh, okay, I lost my screen now, did I? I'm going to make a liar out of it, yeah, air on and off. Was that the air button? Yes, you can put the oxidizer symbols on or off if you like, but you have to do that from hand from the back. But that's really cool. And like I said, watch when I uh, fold it back up. Let's press N again. Watch, you can see all the little clips going on the bottom too. Watch all the little clips on the bottom. Look at that. That is cool, man. I really like that. So, like I said... There is the tool menu. Now, you'll have to choose what you're going to have to put on here. Like, if you're going to pick up pallets, select pallets with the Z button or Z button. If you press that, it's on square bales right now. And basically, what that's going to do is set what 
because each of those things has a different height to it so it kind of tells it beforehand what's going on there so it'll because I mean if I put it on rail bales and I go pick up pallets the pallets will go on but they'll go on all weird and wrong and you might even crash the game I don't know but I tried picking up a half of load a half load of pallets and then another half load of bales the bales went on but they were all like sideways sticking out the side and I couldn't get them off once I did so I would recommend sticking to one thing so yeah like there's round bales but there's three different sizes look up top left hand corner round bales 1.3 meter 1.4 meter and 1.5 meter so there's three different size round bales the first one is the regular size the 1.3 I don't know what an HD bale is guys please let me know down below and others if you know what the HD bale is I'm, I'm sure it's probably something normal but I just I don't know what it is HD bales unless they're the wrap bales that you make uh, silage out of I'm not too sure but you press it again there's your pallets that's any pallet and then back to square square bales so we're gonna be testing these out momentarily I just want to test out a couple more things here before we get started show you the different animations on this I'm not gonna really hook up to the black one because there's nothing to really show you except for the uh, back door opens and the reefer turns on and off so then you have this version here and that's in blue really nice colors on this too guys but this one here you'll notice over in the toolbar there it has a little bit different of a setup there you press keypad 8 and watch you'll get the retractable roof instead neat eh really really cool so you can use that as a tipper like I said it holds 32,000 liters not a whole lot but it does hold a bit and then you press keypad 9 and watch you got a piston dro driven wall well it's not showing the piston but basically you can put wood pieces in there and be able to unload it I have one of these actually filled with wood pieces that we're going to be testing out and a few other ones too it took me quite a while to set up this map guys so just bear with me we're going to be putting them all to the test so like I said there's the three different variations there there it is in the shop like I said there's your color choice that is your rim color and that is for just this metal part down the bottom so just keep that in mind and there's three different floor types there's safety floor pimple floor and wood floor then you got your three different variations of the tipper itself the the one that's zero is the one that loads the sides open the second one is the one with the reefer and the third one is the one with the roof opening that I'm standing by right now so roof on. okay we're gonna pick up some round bales I just bashed all these all over the place and we're gonna go scoot them up now I do believe I'm on it right now round bales 1.3 meters now you're gonna have to activate it by pressing X it won't pick it up until you get that work position button so hit the X button and we should be good to go let's go see how this handles now look at this guys what a dream look at that there is the same bale trailer with a bunch of bales on it as you can see they go long ways it holds three rows of eight which is 24 watch how fast now if you did this by hand and not only would it be a lot faster doing it this way if you tried stacking them the way these are going to be going on there you'd be there for days look at this huh. it's like a dream easy peasy one more pass we'll pick up some must have uh, disappeared or something I look like I'm a few bales short here oh no that's it and there you go guys so once you get a full load you uh I thought you would have to use the L button to fasten it but it doesn't seem to work but it doesn't go anywhere anyway so we'll just bring them over here we'll pretend we got them to our destination point we'll unload them so what you're going to want to do is bring them up. You can unload from either side or the back. 
So once you're there, uh, you're going to want to press B, and then you'll see the grate on the ground. You keep pressing B till you get to the side that you want. I want to put them right there. So you keep pressing B till you get to where you want, and then you're going to press your Y button. Boom. Look at that. Perfect. Beautiful, guys. Okay, next test. Now we're going to be testing that out. Now, I want to go back to this guy for a minute. Now, let's start him up. Now, I forgot to go over this guy. This is the Bailmaster 2016 Auto Loading version 1.0. The file size of this trailer is 15 megabytes. Price in the shop is $22,500 with a $10 a day maintenance fee. And this loads everything the other one does, except it just has a little bit different of of a setup it's a little bit different of a setup and it can hook to a tractor as opposed to a semi got a nice shine to it too and there's only one variation of this this is it right here so what am I gonna try to pick up now I'm gonna grab some of them square bales so like I said I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna press G to get on the back then I'm going to press Z or Z until I get the square bales right there then I'm gonna press the X button to activate that I'm ready to pick these things up and that's important you gotta press that X button or it won't pick them up and that's the same goes the same way for uh, dropping them off you don't want to accidentally pick them back up again right so these are probably gonna go on really really quick oh check that out <laughs> that was pretty neat Look, they're all mixed too. So there you go, guys. It's, it's easy just like that. Easy peasy. Okay. Look at that. Try, try loading 24 bales that quick otherwise. So, same thing, guys. Press the B button to put it where you want. I'm going to put them on the back this time. But yeah, it'll probably just spread them right out just normally. The same way. I was thinking it would just flip them back like it does with the normal bale trailer. But... And then hit your Y button. There you go. Boom. So, he is underway. Actually, I can keep testing him. I put another one there to try both, but I don't really need both, do I? So, let me hit the Z button here, and we'll try some pallets. So, round bales. Like I said, don't forget, like for the regular bales, round bales, you want 1.3s. Uh, pallets. There we go. Okay, let's go pick up some of this merchandise. Now we got saplings there. We got every every different size thing you can imagine. Now look, I did not press X to activate. So I'll press that right now. There you go. Now it's not going to go on in any particular order. Just whatever happens to be there first. So look at that. Beautiful. So yeah, like I said, you gotta watch where you put them, guys. Because if I had, if I would have not changed that and it was square bales, these things would be hovering up in the air. It's just the way it works. So, gonna go over here, gonna drop these off, then we're gonna test out the other ones. Love these things, man. Okay, B button. Tell it where I want to put it. Press the. Uh, the Y button to unload, and I'm out of here. So easy. Beautiful. Okay, what do we got now? Got a couple more tests here, guys. That's it. Okay, we're going to try some bales with this guy. Now, let's open up the sides. Check out that awesome little animation again. Looks so awesome. Okay square bales I am on it already so I'm just gonna press my X button to activate and we'll try out some of these bales here oh I don't know if I had to activate this one it might uh, actually it's V for this one X opens your back doors you want to press V to activate in this one okay so let's just take your time here there we go you can see they're going in long ways. Now, like I said, guys, if you didn't have that on bales, that would all go in there pretty wonky. 
There you go, full load of bales. Look at that. Oh, we still have more. Well, we'll have to fill it up, won't we? There we go. Any more? So I don't know how many this holds. Let's try to figure it out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, sixes. Thirty-six. Hope my math is right or I just looked really stupid. <laughs> Okay guys, zip it back up. Look at that! Isn't that so cool? I love this mod, man. I mean, the other one's just as good. Just this one looks a little prettier, that's all. Okay, so let's open the cover again. We'll unload this and we'll go do the last test. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. That is so neat. I just fell right in love with this. B button. Like I said, you can go to the back or to the sides. And then Y button to unload. Boom. Just like that. Okay. Now it's your turn, sir. We're going to open you up and we're going to pick up some merchandise. Let me go down here. And I'm going to press my V button to activate. Pick up. Let's see how this handles. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. Saplings. All of it. I could even put more on there. Let's go get more. Oh! There we go. Full load. End button. Close it up. All little clips go on. <laughs> love it. Even the flap in the back, man. I love that attention to detail, I tell you guys. Really, uh... Okay. I got another guy here, and there's a little surprise in the back of this guy. There is some wood. And I just want to test that piston out, guys. Make sure that thing works like it's supposed to. So say we were just bringing this right over to here. Got a bunch of one and two meter pieces of wood. I'm gonna press X to open our back doors. Then I'm gonna activate that activate push wall and see what happens here and see if this is actually gonna work. Yes, it is. Look at that. Because I tried that with the grain, guys. I'll show you in a minute, actually, and it didn't work too well. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, get out. <laughs> so there you go. Excellent. That worked just fine. Okay, there's one more I want to test out, guys. Don't run away yet. One more. I'm doing the full review for you guys. Here we go. Looks good in purple, doesn't it? Not too bad at all. Okay, guys. We're just going to fill this up with grain. So I can show you that. Let's open our roof here. Not with the end button. With the 8. Keypad 8 button. Only holds a lousy 32,000 liters, but I can live with that. And I know you can put uh, bags of seed in that second one. I'm just, I'll leave it up to you guys. Maybe you got a better explanation for that, but what a really nice mod. Two really beautiful, well put together mods, man. See, so much time. So much messing around. 32,000 liters, guys. There you have it. Now here's what I want to show you. Okay, first I'm going to have to jump out and remove this guy's butt from the premises. There's what I was getting at. Yeah, this guy kind of fits his tipper a little weird. He does. He needs another axle. But whoa, 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 whoa. Now here's what I'll show you. Here's what I mean. Watch when I press X. Just layered. I thought it was just going to all fall out, but look. No. And when I press 9. Keypad 9, look. Just goes right through it. That's why I had to do the log test. Because I wasn't sure how that was going to handle that. 
I just figured it didn't work. It was broken, but it works for the log, so that's why I wanted to test it for you guys. So what we can do is just unload this the normal way and watch all them little lines go crazy. So I could still close these and I think it would still unload. <laughs> Whatever works, eh guys? So I do believe that wraps up our review, guys. That was all my little setups. So, I really hope you enjoyed today's review, guys. Additional information and links will be down below, as always. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you think it's worthy enough of a like, go ahead and leave a like for me. I always appreciate when you guys do that. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and click on that handsome guy right in the middle of the screen there. And I'll be sure to bring you new mod re <laughs> tongue tied. Bring in new mod reviews every second day and let's plays every other day. So guys, until next time, take care and I'll see you in the next one.